and Ronnie back to the left-handed break-off shot, and he made a poor break-off. I thought we had some sort of record there with four centuries in a row, but apparently back in 2009. Five. And you'd be a brave man to bet against that record. You could see why Ronnie was so 13. disappointed. This is a match. Twenty-one. And I decided to go anyway. This tip goes very, very close to the cue ball, as indeed does the majority of the tour. Thirty-seven. And that's around a bit. Forty-five. Nice. Played a very aggressive shot, and what a shot he played there. That's it, brilliant. 51. The blue and in. 58. And he's responded with this. He's in a row at Neil Robertson and Steve Maguire. Yeah, it's one of them matches where it's when you make bad mistakes and play bad shots, that's the one at 82. It, the same as the next frame, if Ronnie gets a chance, I'm sure he'll capitalise because okay, he's made the. 90. 98. It's an absolute privilege to watch this here this evening. 104. Two of the best players ever. 112. 116. 121. 127. That is an amazing break from, from John Higgins. He's got away with it though. Brown's in a terrific spot. If no way over towards the Brown from where they were sitting there. What's the side? Oh, 
and he's managed to get over towards the brown. But he was so close to the double kick. No problem. Superb as well. Which is what you need if you're going to win the amount of titles that these two players have won. He'd love to get over to the brown. Wasn't quite the angle to get in behind the brown, but I'm just looking at the frame times. First frame, just over 11 minutes, then 13 minutes. Then But that's opened the black up. Well, never mind. We may have to say six. That's the four. What a shot he's played there. Precise with this. It's a long way short, but... Wow. And a miss. Wow. And a miss. John Higgins, five. One. The double kiss has come to his rescue there. But yeah, there's not been a lot of, you'd say, run of the ball for either player because basically they've just got an end. Nothing really over that side of the table to play. Well, Ken Doherty in the studio wanted a frame with some Just little. Once again, right on the heart of the pocket. But yeah, looking at him here, how, Six. how does he lose many matches? Another excellent positional shot. 
26. Hmm, well, obviously they didn't because he played the cannon. And. Oh, wonderful. A wonderful recovery yeah, shot there. When he gets in the table, he just refuses to leave it until the frame's won, doesn't he? 42. That's the frame safe. Fifty. Well, as we keep saying, this. Sixty-three. Oh, just 81. about. Oh, he's the wrong side of it. Close, close. John Higgins, but it's not there. Back to the right handed break off. Black's tied up. Going to talking about give him the chance to close out this match. I'd be very surprised if he passes it up. One. It was Ronnie's poor safety that cost him the last. Seven. Yeah, it's gone wrong. If he had not missed the pinky, you know, is there anything tough on the table at the moment? You could almost see John's hand 17. visibly shaking there, couldn't you? Hopefully bring the black into play. Oh, I thought he would play with a bit more pace than that. It's the yellow. As a rescue. Just the safety. <laughs> oh, what a shot. What a pop that is. One. So what's happened to him? Basically, seven. Yeah, he did do that, wasn't straightforward. Mm, but that is just pressure. That is just the pressure that he's been put under from John Higgins tonight. Spot. One. Yeah, purely caused by. And what a glorious chance he's left for John to close this match out. Seven. Thirteen. And the balls they need to pot to win this match. Okay, Ronnie's when he's in the frames, Ronnie's won. He's played brilliant, but the 
second frame he didn't he win in one visit, he had two breaks. He was right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that match at home. Because we saw